So you guys don't know Foot Mob, right? One of like the main partners of the channel. They sponsored a ton of videos. They're sponsoring this one today. I'll just briefly say it. Free football news score transfer app. Link top line of the description. You guys can get it free on the Android or uh, just do the app store. Today, we're going to be using this epic app to make every transfer rumor become true. Transfer rumor. D d I think I said that completely wrong. We're making them all come true today, boys. I don't care how crazy the rumor is. I don't care how old the rumor is. We're making them come true today. We're most known for the mobile app but today we're going to be looking through the transfer rumors on the computer and he, here's just pretty much all their most recent news articles just for the Premier league and it can go back for months and months and months i should know we're just going to be doing the Premier league today if you guys want to see me do other leagues in the future let me know in the comments which one we should do next also since fifa doesn't do it ea doesn't do it i've tried to go through and update like all the most recent in like the biggest transfers so far just for the primary league though so like we've done the sancho one ben white and a few others of these down here and i'm all alone today boys i've been recording pretty much every video as of late on my live stream and today it feels weird I, I haven't recorded a video not live in so long like where where is the chat we're gonna be recording more videos throughout this week though actually on facebook so if you guys want to get involved there link in the description to my live streams over on facebook gaming um yeah check that out as well okay right who's ready because it is time to make all of these transfer rumors come true on foot mob as always if you guys could leave a like on the video let's shoot for the stars today and go for 15,000 likes. If you guys smash the like in the video, your favorite team is gonna make a massive chance before the window ends and who knows, that transfer could win you guys the league. Also, I just got back from holiday. Some of you guys who maybe saw my YouTube story or follow me like on Instagram will have known that or Twitter. If you guys want to keep up to my day-to-day -day life, you guys can follow on Instagram, Twitter. I've been doing a bunch over there as of late. And please, boys, I freaking beg of you, just subscribe. 60% of you guys still are not subscribed to the channel. You have till the end of the year to subscribe and get me to a million to get me the R9 Ronaldo haircut. I, I, at this rate, I don't think you guys are going to do it. We, we need people keep it up boys subscribe all right that's enough of me crying and begging for likes and subscriptions here we go so here's how it's gonna work boys we're gonna scroll through all of the news articles and we are going to make every single transfer rumor happen in the prem for every team possible you know what i'm gonna need to do as well Th this will be done once i get into the career mode but update the teams that got promoted and relegated i'm gonna update that as soon as we get into the career mode as you can see though man we got players like Jaden sancho already in manchester united let's see um liverpool have themselves where is he their brand new center back ben white and arsenal yeah all the bigger transfers have been updated and yes yeah, some of them have not been updated so if you see that i apologize i couldn't go through and do all of them once we update all these transfers we will then get in to a brand new manager career mode and i'm gonna note as well we're gonna go back and look at some rumors from like probably like a month or two back in the past ones that never really would have happened and then of course we will be given i think I don't know if I'm going to pick the team yet or use Siri to decide or do something else random, but stay tuned for that in the future. We'll figure out which team I'm actually going to go for. Okay, right. I don't know, man. This is the first one. Jack Graylish. Where is this man going to land? A hundred million pound offer from Man City. I guess we got to make that one come true to start. And here's the thing as well, man. Look at all of these hidden other offers in here. Look at this one right here. Saul, Man United, or Liverpool. Here's the thing. Some of these are gonna have multiple offers on the table multiple clubs to choose from so let's just start with this one first jack graylish we know that this one i actually don't know if it's gonna happen in real life or not uh, but graylish to city let's do the sal one next this is the thing again when players have it has rumors to them going to multiple clubs i guess it's just gonna be between me to choose and i'm gonna send Saul. it was either what liverpool or united we're sending him to united okay the next one was christian romero to tottenham they're having difficulties reaching an agreement but we're gonna make it happen 77 rated atalanta center back is now on his way to tottenham i see this one's from juve again we're just focusing on the primary league today so if you see any rumors from other clubs we're ignoring them wait hold up i skipped this one right here barca and atleti want bernardo silva i guess we have to take rumors of players leaving the primary league too right so let's just ship bernardo silva away and let's just get these other ones so arsenal and everton want the usa man hoppy after the gold cup which when this video airs i hope the usa have won it Triore uh, Toxin Wolves have broken down with leads, but screw it. We're just going to make that happen as well. And then Brighton are interested in Darwin Nunez. All right, let's go in and make these happen. All right, the first one, Bernardo Silva's leaving Man City. So I know this one wasn't a big one, but Matthew Hoppy's only 66 rated in the game. I think it was Arsenal Everton. 
we are gonna move him to everson i actually can't believe this one man adama triore i didn't even know this was a thing man i know it said it had broken down but we're shipping him off to Leeds United. And then this one, man, I it took me a decent, amount of, a decent amount of time to find him. Darwin Nunez to Bright. And that is the first article done. Oh, we got a ton more to go through. Here's the thing about all these rumors, dude. That Liverpool is going to be stacked. I feel like Liverpool, Man City, United, they're kind of involved in like every rumor. So you got Arsenal and Juve have both pursued um, Manuel Locatelli. I I really hope I pronounce the um, name right. And Liverpool have now entered the race. You know what, man? I've been mean to Arsenal lately a bit. Not really mean. I've joked. I've just been joking with you Arsenal fans a little bit as of late. We're, I'm going to try to help you guys out as much as I can in this episode. We're shipping him to Arsenal. And now we get to see these transfers hidden at the bottom. The roundup. We've already seen the Man City Grealish deal. Da -da -da, Xhaka staying at Arsenal. Bellerin is close to an arsenal exit so let's send him away and bro another freaking liverpool one. i swear i'm telling you they're literally involved in every offer just when i thought i was starting to help you arsenal fans out what did it say bellerin to like i think i think it was i think it was psg and then here we go man it's just it's liverpool liverpool are gonna be too good yet again they're getting the muching gladbach central midfielder Nuhas. i hope i'm saying that right again oh god i just now realized i'm like recording this like it's super zoomed in i'm sorry about that boys i wish i paid attention like i wish i had enough time to pay attention to the transfers more i don't even know this one was a thing bailey to aston villa wait is this is this actually happening they've confirmed an agreement this is a sick transfer oh my god boys when i tell you guys like i grind youtube i grind streaming i spend like Oh my God, all of my day, either streaming, recording videos, TikToks, Twitter, Instagram. I don't have time to keep up with the transfers. It usually just like the Premier League season starts and it's like, oh, here are all the new transfers. Like I try my best, like the, the, I keep up with the big ones, obviously. I'm surprised I'm just now seeing this. I'm pumped to see this dude. The dude, bro, he's um, he's from Jamaica, right? Yeah, dude. Oh my God, I'm so pumped to see this man play. Aston Villa, let's go. And I don't think there was any other, yeah, this was like the only transfer on this page, so no more left to see in this article. Atletico Madrid, Trippier, he wants to wait on United. I don't actually see this one happening. I mean, hey, maybe it will. And again, bro, literally every article has the Villa, um, Man City, and Jack Graylish talks, like every article, man. Other than that, we have Chelsea, Kurt Zuma to West Ham. 20 million bid on the table because yeah this i think we're gonna end up doing this one too julius julius kuande i definitely put butchered his first name but he looks like he might be going to chelsea all right kieran chipier dude i mean man united already have one basaka like do they even need him keep zooming in the screen my bad boys Kert zuma was moving to west ham right yeah west ham united there it is and i'm just gonna do this one now kuan kuande no, where is Kuande? There he is. Okay, he is going to be on his way to Chelsea. Oh my god, I completely forgot to do this one. I We need to move Areola to West Ham United as well. This one, Areola, this one just went down like a few days ago. I mean, what a PSG even need with this man anymore? Like, after signing Donnarumma, they still have Navas. Um, he's out of Fulham and to West Ham. Hold up. This one is going to... This. Oh, my God. We have to do this article right here, right? So, some of the foot mob articles come from different websites. So, yeah, it takes us to The Guardian. This is going to be dope because it is going to have a transfer rumor for every single club. When was this written to? This was written on July 29th. I'm recording this on August 1st, so it isn't even that old. And they have Arsenal getting Bernardo Silva. And again, these really aren't rumors, but I'm still going to include it because it at least gives every single every single team in this video a new signing. Well, I already moved him to Atletico Madrid because there's a rumor he was going there, but he is going to be back to the Premier League. This time, though, moving to Arsenal. You know what? To save a little time, I'm not going to show you me moving all these players on FIFA. Let's just look through this article and see where everyone is going and then i'll move them after okay so aston villa leon bailey we already did that one brentford hugo oh my god i i'm not pronouncing that last name i'm sorry brighton adam armstrong burnley nathaniel phillips chelsea and danny ings okay atal to crystal palace we have Savenier. God, dude, I suck with pronunciations. Farid is going to be to Leeds United. Leicester going to get Julian Brandt. Liverpool and Danny Olmo. That's an interesting one right there. Man City and Harry Kane. Right. Man United and Wilfred and Didi. Joe Willock, Newcastle. We have 
So, God, I'm just going to call him Roll on to Norwich City. Brandon Williams to Southampton. Spurs getting a Romero. I'm pretty sure we did that one too. Um, we have the rest as is right there. I think the biggest out of all of these is definitely this one. Man City getting themselves Harry Kane. That is... That might just win Man City the league. Right, boys? I'm not going to show all of these, but I'm doing this all off cam right now, making all of these rumors come true. And that is now complete. So here's just like what the ratings have gone up to on some teams. At the very end, when we get into the career mode, I will show you what the teams look like with all of their new players in. But so far, I feel like we the, the biggest hit is Spurs attack, obviously. Getting into some older rumors at the moment. Is this one about to send Pogba out of United? It is. PSG interested in Paul Pogba. Man United, at least you guys got Saul, but say goodbye to Pogba. No other rumors here either. Wow, dude. I mean, United, have, they also got in DD too. Let's check out this United team. I mean, I think they're going to be fine even without Paul Pogba. They do lose, lose one of their top rated players in the team. But look at all the other just absolute beasts they have and that they've got in this episode. I, th I think they're going to be fine. Right, Yep, I forgot about this one. This was posted five days ago. Like I said, we're going to probably go back at least, I would say, probably a month with some of these offers. So a lot of these are a bit older. I don't know if this, I don't know if Chelsea are still interested in Holland. I think he's going to end up staying at Dortmund. Not in this video, though. He is going to be moving to Chelsea. Imagine this bid, though, man. 175 million pound offer honestly i i i think he's worth it i can't believe we're about to do this man I, this is this is honestly my dream to see like holland on a team with pulisic and oh my god dude they got havertz obviously timo werner hasn't been the best i think timo werner gets a bad rep i think uh, man, is it is it is it bad to say that maybe he'll have a decent season if he ends up starting i don't know maybe timo werner is he's not a bad strike it uh, am I going to get flamed for saying that Timo Werner isn't a bad striker? Well, they got Holland now, so in this episode, we won't even have to worry about it. Yo, how have I forgotten this right here? Oh my god, dude, I'm just not realizing. I forgot like uh, I forgot like two pretty big transfers. I didn't put Varane. I have, I've completely forgot to put him on United, so let's go do that right now. And I forgot to move this man, because he is now off of Spurs, I believe. Aldervoyeld. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and make him a free agent. It really doesn't matter. He's not on Spurs anymore though. Spurs have lost a lot this episode, but they're about to get someone right here. Aaron Ramsey. Again, these are all a bit older rumors. Tottenham lineup for the shock move for ex-Arsenal man. And we got some other ones down here, man. This could be good. I hate that some of these are old, but it's just how we kind of need to work. A lot of these are for other leagues though. Um, we will be putting Ramsey on to Tottenham. I think this is the only other Premier League one that we haven't done yet. Aaron Bloody Ramsey to Tottenham Hotspur. I, I, I don't know the update on that, but I, I don't think that's happening. And then this is the other one too, to Newcastle, I believe, right? Yeah. Flying, man. We're absolutely flying through these transfer rumors. And let's keep it going. Let's do a few rapid fire ones. So this one is Shakiri actually going to be leaving Liverpool. What is this? Literally the first transfer, the first like negative transfer for liverpool they've seemed to have everything going their way this episode oh what is this too lacazette bro to atleti where'd my face cam go hello yo how hopefully that hasn't been off long i don't think it has atleti eyeing lacazette let's um is that it a few others actually though we got alex oxlade chamberlain west ham united newcastle ross barkley lamella to sevilla spurs brian gill i think that one's actually happened already in real life this one first man ah the first is this the first negative move for no they lost hector bellin already second negative move for them so i think we actually have two here for this was, this is for newcastle right yep right ross barkley first and then we got willock as well the Arsenal man coming back on loan, right? I think, yeah. Eric Lamella, man. Another negative move for Spurs. He's going to be joining Sevilla, dude. Spurs are hurting right now. And I believe this is the last one from this page. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. I can't freaking speak. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain to West Ham United. So we're starting to get past 10 days where like Sancho basically wasn't even confirmed. Or was he confirmed by then? Yeah, I think he was. But some of these transfers we're about to get into right now are very very old like look at this we had a cane one he's already moved to city in we've already seen this rumor before but like yeah <laughs> are we really about to make this one happen oh, oh my, god. my god oh my god it's chelsea getting hazard back no bros look at this one too Lewandowski is interested in a contract offer from chelsea oh my god dude chelsea are about to get holland and Lewandowski, and that's not all from this one united 
potentially, we're, we're gonna get Goretzka, man. They just lost Pogba, they're gonna get Goretzka. Then Ramsdale, the Arsenal, man, that one. Oh my goodness, this might be the biggest page so far. I'm actually gonna start with this one because I forgot to do it before. Brian, Brian Gill going to, uh, yeah, Tottenham Hotspur, where are they at? Boom, there it is, Spurs. All right, Chelsea, are you guys ready? Because you guys might win this episode because you guys are about to be insane. Eden Hazard going back to Spurs. I can't believe I'm saying that one. Now, actually, no, I can't believe I'm saying this one. Lewandowski to Chuck. No, wait, hold up. Did I, did I say, did, I think I said that wrong. Um... Yeah, I did, didn't I? That was not the Spurs. It was the Chelsea. Both of these players to Chelsea. Spurs is getting me thrown off. Lewandowski and Hazard to Chelsea. Yes. We have Guretzka is going to be moving to Manchester United. So actually, bro, that ends up being an upgrade for them. They lose Pogba, get Guretzka. Then we got Ramsdale to... I don't know why this one is a thing. To Arsenal, 70. I can't believe they're about to pay 30 million for him. So this one is going to be a little bit unfair for Liverpool because it talks about Anderson leaving and them getting Sowell. We transferred Sal to United. I'm sorry, Liverpool, man. I'm going to have to get rid of Henderson, though. You can't get Sal, but you're going to lose Hendo. Yeah, and you know, for how much Liverpool has destroyed me in career mode this year, um, I'm sorry to say... I'm not about to feel bad about this one. Nah, and it just gets worse from Liverpool. You'll love to see it, man. I'm sorry, dude. Liverpool fans. I don't actually hate you. You guys know. I just hate you because you're good. And you're too good in FIFA. And you guys are about to lose one of your best players as well. Salah to Real Madrid. Has this rumor come true? And you guys literally lose your best attacker. I'm... I'm, I'm sorry, man. I'm actually so happy about that one. Hold up. This rumor right here has some other ones down here at the bottom. Lingard is leaving United. No. Lingard to Atletico Madrid. Arsenal are about to get Tommy Abraham from Chelsea. And to be honest, Chelsea really don't even need Tommy Abraham. That's probably good for them that he's leaving. Tottenham are going to get Pellegrini. Okay, that's another good one. What's another one here? Hold up. Um... Danny Yings, we've already had him move. And then Brentford are about to... Oh, that one actually happened in real life. Yeah, they ended up uh, they're getting their record transfer fee. And I'll make that one happen because I don't think I have. Yo, I'm actually going to be sad about this one. Where is he, bro? Oh, wait, nah, he hasn't updated. He's still on West Ham, isn't he? Oh, Jesse Lingard is leaving. Man, United is leaving the Prem, bros. I could shed a tear. He's off to Atleti, though, for bigger and better things. Okay, right, Tommy Abraham is the next one. This is actually going to be... I feel like beneficial for Arsenal since they lost Lacazette. And then you have fair play to this one for Brentford. Well, see how they do. It's their record transfer fee, but it isn't probably going to help them a lot, at least in this simulation. Hopefully it does in real life next year. I'd love to see Brentford do well. And then we got this one, the last one at least for this section, Pellegrini to Spurs. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. I have to move Messi to Man City now, don't I? Is this a rumor, though? Man City or PSG? Signing Messi would be financial doping. Okay, you know what? We're not going to do this one because it says City have lost 270 million. Obviously, they wouldn't even consider signing Messi. So I don't even think we can call this a rumor. I I'm not doing this one, boys. But, bro, look at this one now, man. We have, I mean, Man City monitoring the Messi situation. Like, oh my, bro, you're giving me mixed signals right here. Messi still unattached. League One Powerhouse, da da da. Uh, Premier League continue to eye. They're eyeing. I think I have to do it, man. I think I actually have to send Messi to Man City. I don't want to do it, bros, but rules are rules. And it, I mean, it has him linked. It has him linked. It's a rumor. I gotta do it, man. And it makes the it makes the video more entertaining, right? When we have bigger players in this in the Premier League, so I'm doing it as well. And just when we thought Liverpool were getting rid of all their good players, Liverpool want Mbappe. Great. Liverpool are the leading contenders to sign at PSG star Kylian Mbappe. Dude, there's no way this is happening, but in this video, yeah, it's happening. Bro, and not this, man. Oh my god. Look at this. I mean, I'm doing this one too. Cristiano Ronaldo, da 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 da, has been linked with United and PSG. Oh my god. Ronaldo back to United and Mbappe to P or Mbappe to Liverpool, man. Wait, hold up this one too. Liverpool have inquired about Nicolas Barella. Nico Nicola Barella. Okay, right. While I'm like making these rumors happen right now, I want to note a few things. I am only taking rumors from Footmob. 
I know I've probably missed a lot of rumors out there because, to be honest, you could genuinely probably find a rumor about every any single player going to any club. Like, there's probably some stupid websites out there that are like Ronaldo linked to Arsenal and just random, random crap that people make up to get views. Listen, man, FootMob's a very trusted site, so we've taken, we've taken le legitimate rumors. But with that, boys, we have basically gone back pretty much about a month so i think we're actually going to just cut things off here and i think it's time to show off the teams and see who's gonna win the prem with all these rumors coming true before we do so though boys remember check out foot mob link in the top line of the description this is uh this is a super fun video man i really want to do this again for other teams another thing as we pretty much get into showing off the teams i'm going to just be keep i'm not changing teams formations they have to stick and rock with the formations that they use irl so here is Arsenal. They got themselves Tommy Abraham. They got themselves White. Locatelli is in here as well, and a few others. Here's another thing, too, man. I'm gonna need to say this because I know some people are gonna be like, "Yo, B Ford, why is that player still on the team? They left in real life." Like, I'm sure a bunch of these players are no longer on Arsenal anymore. I, I wish that EA updated the team sheets. And if I went and sat here and had to update every transfer, I'd literally be here all night. So. A lot of these players are probably no longer on Arsenal anymore, but they're still on this team and are live. And it's going to be the same for every team. So don't go leaving a comment, boys. I know. I, I understand. I'm actually going to be showing off. Um, let's see. I'm not going to be showing off every team. But like Bailey to, to Villa, we'll show that one. Okay, we have to show this one, right? And this is, this is the one case where I actually do want to change the formation. Because they now have Robert Lewandowski. They have themselves Eden Hazard. And Erling Holland. Where is Holland? How are they going to start? How are they literally going to start Holland and Lewandowski in the same team, man? It just can't be done. Okay, since Chelsea, I think, is the team that I, I'm, I'm just going to control Chelsea. You know what? We'll fix their starting 11 a bit later. They are the team, though, that I'm going to control in this simulation. So might give them a bit of an advantage and let them change their formation everton wasn't really involved in much of anything in this episode were they they did get the american hoppy who isn't gonna help them at all because he's 66 overall Leicester city they did get they got julian brandt didn't they which is good but they also lost in dd so they kind of took an l this one here's liverpool man yeah so they oh he's already at right wing they got Mbappe, didn't they? Dani Olmo and, I mean, a few other players as well. They did lose a few players too, so we'll see what happens with their team. And City, Lionel Messi, the last minute addition. Messi, Grealish in as well, and we can't forget about Harry Kane. And Aguero still in. I am going to get rid of Aguero. I think Giroud was, like, still on Chelsea, so I need to get rid of him. A few of those bigger ones I will be moving and getting rid of right how about this one now manchester united cristiano ronaldo another last minute wait where's ronaldo hello there he is we got freaking sancho in a trippier Varane. yep this team's insane oh, i forgot about sal too oh it, and indeedy top runners to win the league in this one right now are chelsea manchester united and manchester city and liverpool pretty much all the good teams okay the rest of them didn't really get too many big moves happening spurs unfortunately bro they lost so much but yeah all right i think it's time to get into this now boys let's go and here you go like i said i'm gonna be choosing the team i'm not using siri i'm gonna go for the team that i want and it is gonna be chelsea not that i think that they're the best i think that they're gonna be the most fun team to pick the starting 11 of I hope that makes sense. Transfer window off. No more moves are being made. We, I think we've, <laughs> I genuinely think we've made enough moves so far. Champions League disabled too. Although, usually when I disable the transfer, the Champions League, it still, it still plays out. I don't know why. Into the career mode though, boys. Let's go. Yo, I think we need a keyword for this episode. If you guys have made it this far, we need a keyword for you guys to comment. And it's gonna be my favorite snack. I don't know if they have this um, wherever you may be watching from, but um, it's my favorite snack. Cheese it. If you've made it this far in the video, I want you to comment, cheese it, and cheese it if you're watching. Please sponsor me because, bro, these are, hold on, do you guys have cheese its like in the UK? I know my American people will know what I'm talking about. Bro, oh my God, it's, it's just deliciousness, man. Let's get it, boys, into the career, we go, and let's set this chart, Chelsea starting 11. Yes, I realize this is maybe going to give Chelsea a bit of an advantage since I actually get to like pick their team. 
but it it shouldn't really to be honest the cpu will still be able to pick the teams for all the other clubs like if you guys don't know in career mode the cpu automatically will put the best starting 11 in no matter who i put in in the simulations the only thing the cpu can't change is the formation itself so that's technically the only advantage that we're gonna get here and yes as you guys can see i think i'm doing it we're playing the 424 i want to play it with kante can i even do this can i even put kante at cdm i can't can i put him at center back you know what mm, he loses minus three it's so tough man because i want to do a formation with wingers and two strikers and the only formation to do that with is pretty much the 424 we're getting bro danny ins danny ins off the bench one day off the bench when i can okay you know what i'm gonna do it oh my god you guys know the king of the most whack formations ever i'm doing this the four two four with a cdm and central midfielder I might even move the wingers just down just a little bit and there's your team there's your chelsea starting 11 you guys know the drill man we've made all these transformers come true it is now time to see if they were to happen what the premier league would look like so without further ado, let's sit here. Yo, I actually cannot stop eating these now, man. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I was sitting here simulating the whole season, eating my Cheez-Its, watching my pigeons in the background. They're actually really great. All right, enough of these. It is time to get in and see who has won the Premier League. Remember, boys, before we do, if you guys did enjoy this concept, let me know if you guys want to see it done with other leagues around the world. Or maybe the next one could just be like Champions League teams, I guess. Because those are where the biggest rumors are. So that would be the most fun. Here we go. Let's check out the table. So the bottom teams, Watford, Southampton, and Brentford. We got Leeds, Norwich, Crystal Palace, Burnley, Newcastle United. To be fair, most of the smaller teams, you don't really get to see the rumors from. We only really got rumors from big clubs. And it makes sense. I mean, there are probably tons of rumors out there with smaller clubs. But the big clubs get all the spotlight because... That's kind of what people want to see. No one really cares about like a Watford transfer rumor, unless you're a Watford fan. Here we go though. We move in 12th place in the Premier League. Aston Villa, they lose Jack Graylish, they get Bailey, but it doesn't matter. A Brighton in 11th is genuinely a surprising one. GG's Brighton, I would say that's a successful season. West Ham, they lose Lingard and they finish in 10th. And that one is actually a shocking one. Arsenal man. I guess you lost a few, but you got some decent players. What happened? Oh my, oh god. my god. You are kidding me, bro. Chelsea. I'm actually done. Oh my god. So many of you were probably like, B4, don't control Chelsea. That's too big of an advantage. I'm, I'm guessing I probably ruined that with the formation, didn't I? Well, RIP there. Leicester City in seventh. I'm so, I'm so shocked. It had to be the formation, right? But Chelsea, I ruined it. I genuinely ruined it. Everton six, Spurs fifth, and here is your top four. Wolves finishing fourth. Nah, that one actually isn't real. Are you kidding me, man? Man City with Messi finishing third, and it's between Man United and Liverpool. Your winner is Liverpool, bro. Of course, man. Of course, it has to be Liverpool. They they just win everything. Now you guys understand why I literally hate them. Oh, I'm gonna sit here, man, in sorrow and eat my cheese. It's all night, man. Seriously, cheese it. Can you guys sponsor me, please? Speaking of sponsors, man, FootMob, thank you guys for sponsoring this one. And we look at the top goal scorers. Kane for Man City had a pretty decent season. Ronaldo pretty well for Manchester United. Hazard in there and Mbappe in there. What happened, boys? Why did this team fall apart? Oh, again, the only thing I can think of is the formation. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. It had, it had to be, right, boys? Anyways, that is it, man. The transfer windows happened, and Kylian Mbappe carried Liverpool to the Premier League. Leave a like and leave a comment if you guys want to see this one with other leagues. I think that's going to do it for the video, though. Appreciate you guys watching, and we'll catch you guys later. Peace.